If you think the media was tough on President Obama and his uh, speech last night on Syria, of course. Wait till you get a load of the conservatives. Now keep in mind that in this long clip that JR put together of all of the wall of criticism of President Obama's speech, largely on Fox News, there are people who disagreed with him on both sides here. There's people like Rand Paul who said, don't go to war, don't go to war. There are people like John McCain who said, go to war, go to war. Okay, there are people who said, oh, he was being too soft, he was being too tough. But now that he's given the speech, and remember, gotten a result that's pretty good. Syria gets rid of chemical weapons, can't do chemical weapons attacks anymore. That's where it looks like it's leading. Now he's not gotten that good result without war, which is something that American people wanted. We didn't want the war, we wanted the good results without the war. Good results? No, 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 no. Conservatives will use this as an opportunity to just launch every cannon they've got against Obama. Watch. There's no way Barack Obama comes out of this unscathed. I think it's unlikely to work, but if it does work, uh, it's going to give Russia a boost in the region at the expense of the United States. The president's speech last night and his decision to not have a decision. He's caught making an argument for action while we are in a, quote, pause, while we wait for John Kerry. This speech was a mistake. But I guess my first response to that is, well, gosh, the guy who did this deserves death. I mean, the death penalty for killing civilians. Bashar al-Assad. Yeah. There is a good chance he will never recover from this, no matter what happens. Now, uh, I, now we fought, he, fo he found someone to follow, uh, Putin. I thought we should have acted a long time ago. If you're, if you're going to ask the Congress to wait, you don't burn up an evening speech. But I mean, the president's plan is to leave us on alone. And Obama walked into the trap because for him, it's a political face saver. This is not going to move the ball. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, he starts out way behind. The, pre the president uh, leads by following. He didn't have anybody to follow. Now he's following Putin. There's nothing that will drive Syrians more into the hands of the extremists than to feel that they have been abandoned by the West. You can emasculate a man only so much, and particularly a president of the with United Obama, States. With Obama, you never know. I think what this does is just put, sort of sends this one off into space. Yeah. It makes our country look extremely weak, and it cedes leadership to the, to the Russians. I can say that I do think that Obama shares with a whole generation of Democrats and liberals a great skepticism of American power. But he's really not willing to actually make Assad pay. This is uh, just the opposite of uh, how a leader should act. Cut America down to size, not necessarily because they don't like America, because they think that power corrupts and we are too strong on the world scene. It's just embarrassing for the nation. A targeted assassination? Well, I'm not really saying that. You should set a course. You should stick with that course. It should be clear. Al-Qaeda draws strength from chaos. But I think there's more chaos if we bomb Assad. Russia's major ally, Assad, stays in power. America doesn't strike. The rebels are demoralized. I can't imagine, even if you're the most ardent supporter of President Obama, how you, how you can see any kind of uh, threat of leadership in this or uh, any way in which he hasn't made America a lot weaker. These guys drive me crazy, man. So you don't show any leadership if you actually use diplomacy. And they keep saying over and over, oh, this is so weak. Uh, we didn't do a senseless bombing in the Middle East. Wow, that's so weak. That's, oh my God. I would have murdered everybody in the area. If he doesn't murder everybody, he's so weak, weak, weak. <laughs> Diplomacy. <laughs> he got rid of the chemical weapons so they can't use them anymore. Weak. <laughs> Pussy. But wait a minute. The objective was to get rid of the chemical weapons. That's what we're doing. Our leading from behind, giving in to the Russians. But the Russians got us the result we want in combination with, yes, John Kerry's bumbling hypothetical, but we got there. We got there. Great. Instead of celebrating the right result, uh, uh, doesn't, Krauthammer's my favorite, doesn't believe in American exceptionalism. If you believed in America, obviously the correct answer is bombing. Because America believes in violence. You know, as I've said about the Republican proposals bef before, violence is the answer. We forgot the question. The question was, can we get him to stop using chemical weapons? Okay? And then uh, I love O'Reilly, who previously supported Obama when he thought he was going to do bombings. Uh, irrespective of whatever the goal was, who cares what the goal was? The result is bombings. Give us the bombings. Now O'Reilly says he's never going to recover. For accomplishing the mission, oof.
Well, mine's of Fox News. You can't recover from that.